Hey guys, a little bit of a different angle for you this month. Welcome to another Artsy Trio video. So this is number 24, and this month the mood board was created by myself. You can get a copy of the mood board if you want to create something inspired by the patterns, textures, and colors on this mood board by joining the Artsy Trio Facebook group and it will be posted over there along with all of our other past mood boards and lots of work done by us and um, all the other members over there. Uh, anyway, so this is the mood board this month. I pulled some paint colors inspired by the mood board. As I was looking for colors and bits and pieces, I found some other stuff including this giant, I would say butterfly, but I actually think it's a moth. Um, some of these cutouts, these were on some Happy Mail packaging somebody sent me. And I was looking for words. If you haven't been to my channel before, uh, I use my art as therapy more often than not. And more often than not, there is words in my art. I think this is from ordering my cell phone case and it came in some really cute packaging and it had this card in it. I think that's where that came from. And I saved it. So we're gonna use this. Um, inspired by some things that are going on right now. Good, good and maybe not so good, but you know, life is just a big giant bundle of chaos most of the time, <laughs> good or bad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a drop of each one of these colors on the page kind of off to my right near the binding here. If I can get paint to come out, cause like that would be handy. See, doesn't want to come out. Uh, okay, let's try that again. There we go. Yay, got some. I've got, um, these are matte acrylics, which is what I like to journal with because it doesn't, it's not sticky once it's dry, like a gloss tends to be. And I have yellow, orange, light. These are Blick matte acrylics. Yellow, orange, light, orange, medium, red, medium, and green, blue, light. These are from Dick Blick Art Supply. Okay. Now what I think I'm gonna do is take, oh, I was gonna use one of these, but hold on. I think I see something I'd rather use. Ha ha, I have these. They're actually makeup brushes. I don't think this one's ever been used. It looks brand new. That's okay. <sighs> okay, so we are just gonna do this. Oh yeah, I like that. Now as we're doing it, I'm gonna add maybe a little more yellow to the center. Maybe if it'll come out. And maybe a tiny bit of blue to the outer edge. Well, that was more than a tiny bit, but that's okay. Nice. Okay, I like that. We're gonna dry that and I'll be right back. Okay, I want to do some journaling in the circle. So I pulled out a couple colored pencils, a blue, a blue one, <coughs> excuse me, a blue Prismacolor pencil. This is um, PC910, 919. I can't read what color that is. It's too shiny. Blue something. Anyway, this one, this one. Um, I also pulled out this one, but I'm feeling this one more. So anyway, I'm going to just start in the middle here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just draw some lines. 
Okay, then I'm going to do some writing. So in the middle of this, I wrote, life is sometimes a swirling vortex of chaos and confusion. Because it is, let's be honest. So now I want to put this on here and maybe some of these. I don't know about these. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, and definitely this. So I need some glue. Glue. One of these. I use Yoohoo glue sticks for the most part. And when you're using a glue stick, you can't be too heavy handed if you want it to stick and stay, just FYI. Especially if the paper is kind of glossy. And then I put the cap back on the stick and I use the lid to smooth things into the glue so it really does stick down really well. Okay. Maybe there. I have no plan, by the way. I guess I should say that. I don't usually have a plan when I'm journaling. I usually am just going by my gut, by, by how I feel, which in my opinion is how more journaling should be when you're doing this kind of artwork. But that's my personal opinion, so no shade to anybody who does it differently. Okay. And I think my chaos statement goes really well with the wording on the card because it has peace, the word peace, in a few different languages. And then it says, there shall be peace on earth. Because in the midst of chaos, there's always some peace. Peace comes eventually. Most of the time. Okay. Even in the chaos, peace happens. I like, I like that page. It's simple, it's expressive. You, If I can do it, you can do it. All right, now, if you've been following me for a while, you know, because this is kind of a <coughs> journaling experiments journal. Journaling experiments journal. Anyway, um, we are going to glue this down. 
Anyway, if you've been following me for a while, you know this is an experiments journal where I not only do journal pages, I make notes about what I did. So maybe at a future point, if I want, I can go back and figure out what I do or don't like about something, and if I want to recreate it on something else, I can do that. I'm going to start by gluing the mood board down. That works. Then we're going to make some notes about paint um, and anything else that I did on the page. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, that is this month's journal page and notes. I really like the way it turned out. It was quick, simple, easy. Your journaling doesn't have to be complicated. I, again, use my journaling for therapy more often than not. You can do the same and just use this as your starting point. Look at the mood board, absorb the colors, abor absorb the pictures, and it, try to internalize how you feel about what you're seeing and then reflect that on your journal page. I'd love to see you do that and see where it takes you. All right, that's it for this month. If you want to see what the other teachers have done, their links are in the video description along with the link to the Facebook group. We would love to see you join us over there. If you do make a post over there, then make sure to tag me in the post so that I can see it and have some fun with this. If you do something here on YouTube inspired by the mood board, I'd love it if you tag us in that. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.